All right, this morning, I'm going to adjust the e-brake on the Scion. Uh, but before I do that, I'm just going to show the new wheel color. They're dirty right now, so, you know, you can tell from that. But that's the new color because my wife wanted to get away from the teal because it drew too much attention. So she wanted to go with a dark purple now. So, uh, you know, the, if you've seen the other videos, you'll tell that the emblems was the same color as the wheels. Went ahead and done those black for if she ever wanted to change colors again. That way we don't have to do that. So that's that. The inside is still teal at the moment. That will change. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a dark gray. That way this don't have to change anymore. But uh, that'll be in a later video. But if you can see how almost straight up and down this e-brake is. It's, it's not like disconnected kind of like. But I did replace the rear pads in a previous video. I think I made a video. I can't remember for sure. But uh, ever since then it's not like. I mean it works. But it's not like as comfortable. All right, we got the car jacked up on jack stands, wheels off. Next, you gotta go inside and release your e-brake. Put it down. You can see how far up it goes without a whole lot of pressure. So, I'm gonna put it about there, which is not exactly where it could go go there but I'm gonna put it about right there about normal but before we do that for sure what they said to do is to you know release your brake bring this down to the bottom and you want to do it on both sides and uh, then I, I'll go ahead and get this done you, this, all this is is a rubber garment you just take a screwdriver and pry that out and then We'll show you the rest of it. Okay, now that you got these done on down on both sides, and you get them, you know, I don't think it's got to be exact, but just pretty close. And then go ahead and pull this up to about midway, right there. Go ahead and find you a straight screwdriver, and just get this little part out. So that's it, just that little garment. And we will be putting that back in, so don't lose that. I don't think you have to, but just to be safe. And I'm not sure if you can see, but there's this little piece in there. I'm not sure if the GoPro can even pick that up. But what you want to do is to tighten it from what I've seen, is you'll pick this thing like the screwdriver in like that and go up. And to loosen, you'll put it in and go down. But you want to do a little here and a little on that side. But don't go too far because you still want to make sure it's going to be free when the e-brake isn't on. So let me go ahead and get this to working. I'm not trying to get this to be shown as best as I can. I'm not sure if you can see how there it looks like a little dial on that silver thing do you I think you might be able to sit there that's what you want to be turning 
And if you get that, then you should be good. Alright, after you get that kind of where you think you need it, like I said, you want to do a little on this side, a little on this side, check it, and then keep doing it until you find what you need. But this one wasn't bad, so I didn't move it too awful much. So, go put your e-brake back down, and then check to make sure it ain't too tight where when it's down, it's going to be causing friction. See, my passenger side, you can see it can spin pretty freely with it off, which is what you want. Got that loose. And double check this. Check everything. Pretty sure that should be all right. So, this one, that's how it's in. It's not really straight up anymore. So, uh, probably put everything on here, put everything back, and then I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and, like I said, put the wheel back on, torque everything down. All right, this is the kind of the steepest hill I could find. That you know, was pretty close to my house. I mean, you kind of get a sense of kind of how steep it is. And it, and it seems to be doing a lot better than what it did. So, I think that's a successful little thing. Uh, and don't forget to put that little grommet back in. I didn't show that on the video. But uh, what I did was I just coasted up here, put a neutral and let it roll back a little, and I just pulled it up, and it seemed to stop it just fine. 